define and explain the monetary transmission mechanism. This question consists of two parts. Firstly, we have to define the monetary transmission mechanism and then we have to explain it. The, the definition of the monetary transmission mechanism, well, it indicates how changes in the financial sector are transmitted to the real sector. So, something happens in the financial sector and those changes are transmitted to the real sector. That's the definition. What does this process look like? Well, it starts with the change in the interest rate. Change in the interest rate leads to a change in investment spending. Now we know investment spending is a component of aggregate demand, therefore a change in investment spending leads to a change in aggregate demand. When demand in the economy changes, it leads to changes in the price level and also the income level. This then, the explanation of the monetary transmission mechanism. A change in investment spending, as, uh, sorry, a change in interest rate leads to a change in investment spending, leads to a change in aggregate demand, which then affect prices and the income level. Now, this question can, can be asked in different ways. We can, for instance, say, explain the effect of an increase in the interest rate on, the pr on prices and income level. Now we know an increase in interest rate will lead to a decrease in investment spending, the inverse relationship. Decrease in investment spending leads to a decrease in aggregate demand. Therefore, the income level will decrease and also the price level. The opposite is also true. So, explain the effect of an increase, uh, sorry, of a decrease in the interest rate. Well, decrease in the interest rate, well, you must know the story now. Decrease in interest rate, increase in investment spending, increase in aggregate demand, increase in income, and also in an increase in the price level. 